I was trying to do a video because when you do it live, the quality doesn't always come through. But of course, right as I start getting to the hot and heavy part, the memory just disappeared. So I guess I was meant to do it live. Anyway, I was talking about how, um, well, let me just start. Welcome to Fell TV. Hashtag Lilith Season, and I am the one who keeps it really, really, really real. Everybody talks about Lilith, but they don't know the deal. Everybody do a lot of things for the trend. Everybody do a lot of weird things to make their ends. Everybody seems to always depend on the ones who really do. But do you, recipro do you reciprocate to them? No, you don't. Is that you, boo-boo? Is that you? You scary motherfuckers who talking like you're Jesus lovers and you're all about the community and doing good. But we know that you, above all, don't do what you should. Not for yourself, not for your family, not for your community. But you have the nerve to come and want to come at me on some dumb shit that thing you think I'm going to continue on for eternity. Wrong answer there. So it's Lilith season. It's my Lilith season. I'm just saying, y'all need to like pass on by or beware because yo, I'm not having it. Mommy's not having it. Daddy's not having it. Hubby ain't having it. We ain't having it. It's a Saturn return going on right now. It's a Saturn return. Uh, Pluto returns for some. Uh, it's, it's the planet. You don't believe in the planet. It's weird. You believe in angels, but you don't believe in celestials, which can be the same thing. See, you're so confusing with the bullshit you bring. And you turn around every Sunday, and it's really kind of funny how you take people's money, and they do not rise higher than you. Most all of the congregations do this in full view. You see the preacher and the preacher family balling, but the congregation, mm, maybe just a few, unless you're one of these famous churches that, you know, they're looking at your bank account right from jump before you can even join that church. Fuck all those motherfuckers. They are the ones who hurt spirituality. I am not religious, but I am spiritual to the core. I am bound by the code, by the moral. I am on my legacy. At least two people have confirmed, thank you for seeing me, that you know for a fact I have always kept it real and 100. And that's why people don't like me. And I get it. And if you don't like the fact that I'm actually telling the truth and you're scared about that or, or, or you feel some kind of way that I'm talking to you, then maybe I am. If the shoe fits, wear that bitch. And if I need to take my boot and shove it up your ass, you know I will because let's be real. Y'all fucked up when you, you know, when you stole my cash. You still, you try to steal people's cash. You try to steal their ass. You try to steal their ideas. You try to steal everything and then have the nerve to turn around and say, let's keep it real when you don't even know what real is. You don't know God. You don't. And you have no clue about the concept of goddess. How you have disrespected goddess is I know I hear the, I hear the boom, 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 boom. I know I hear the boom 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 bass. It's like it's like constant boom, 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 boom. like constant mortar fire. Uh which is kinda happening right now because the, the universe is at war. <laughs> the universe is at war. And mommy and daddy are saying like this and you know what? You stay in your lane. You stay in your zone, baby girl. You focus on you. You keep yourself healthy. You stay away from these mug pluggers. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And you and, and, and you do what you need to do for you. Your collective and your crew will see your legacy through what you do. Not what you say. You have a lot of people who talk that talk, but they never walk it in any kind of way. They lie about it. But listen, we all know people play with this Illuminati BS. And it's not play. Oh, it's very real. Trust me, I know the deal. Been knowing the deal. Why do you think I never chose that path? Some of you want it so bad. You want to be famous so bad. You want to be instant famous so bad. You want that Dang, so bad. You don't even have any real talent. And I'm here to tell you, you can be a hoe but so long. There is nothing so sad as an old hoe that's still sucking dick for the devil. 
I don't care if you're in your 30s, your 40s, and it's really bad if you're in your 50s and your 60s and your 70s and you're still doing that. That is sad, but that's a path you chose. And if you chose that person to be with, to marry, or, to, or, or for your side, then you, you get what you deserve. But don't bring that bullshit over to me and think I'm going to bring that in, you know, to my herd. Because that is, the animals say, oh, hell no, we don't do that. We don't, we don't, we, we don't play that. We don't play that. We don't play that. We don't play that. And this whole thing with YouTube, I see, I've been telling you for a minute, it is real sad that even with that, you got holes all up in it saying that they're divine feminines. And the divine feminine is saying, and look at you. You looking like, you might as well, like, take off the towel. Take off the, take off the, like, you're, 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 you're ready for action. What action are you ready for? You, when, 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 you know what, when someone said come to God naked, it wasn't like that. It was naked in your mentality, naked in your heart. But you guys actually think that by coming to God and showing your shit, that, you know, you're going to make God switch and love you and put you up, you know, as the queen. When you just another trifling, whole-ass bitch. Y'all are tripping. What fucking God are you serving? I'm just saying, let's keep that shit honestly, really, really real. Would a true God, with a true queen, a true goddess, with a true daughter, would God and goddess want their daughter to be like you showing my shit for and by the way this shirt by the way is uh let's 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 yay this big enough it's big enough to be uh it's big enough to be a dress and i might you know wear this as a dress sometimes it just you know come in black heels and and and, and stock this and wear it as a dress but this is the difference between me and 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 some of these people out here i know how to wear a mini skirt i mean i you know i didn't i don't like dresses for the most part but when i do wear them you know I'm going to be sexy. Not slutty, sexy. There is a difference. Sexy is one thing. Slutty is what you see mostly on TV, in the videos, at BET. Most of that shit, to a real mind, to a real man, that is not sexy. That's slutty. That's something somebody else had or, or somebody else could get. A real king don't need no hoe that'll give it up to everybody or put on a show for everybody. Who wants the community hub? But y'all seem to think it's okay. So, and I know the Illuminati, which literally puts you in a in, in, in a position where the, I know. Whoa, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was so cool. That was so cool. That cross right there and that one right there. And they just like crossed over. Oh man, nature don't be playing. Mom and dad don't be playing. That just let me know. I know. I'm connected, yo. But you want to connect to these hoes reading cards and stuff. And listen, I'm not hating on tarot. I'm just saying. Did I? What, oh, is this? What's this on my phone? Okay, so where is that hair coming from? Anyway. I'm just trying to say, as far as all this card reading and terror, listen, I've been into, my mom was in astrology from the very, very beginning. I was into runes, R-U-N-E-S, when I was little. I was, in, I was, I told you, I was already plugged into the, to the rose cross when I was young seven or eight or something like that and then they were plugged into me some of y'all don't even know what that is see but you have the nerve to bring your bullshit to me like i can't see you this eye is not for a trend this eye has always been the case the legacy has always been the case when i did that poem graves that i put on youtube over 12 years ago 2012 i was revealing to you really all my life the minute I hit that mic at Foxy 99, I was revealing to you, possibly not as much at, at, at We Do and D103, but I came into my own at Foxy 99, and ooh, the love y'all showed me, and it was matched with hate and jealousy too. 
So some of you, you want to know why I left? The same shit that went on in the industry? There too. And you know me. I am really not one that you can uh, expect me to fuck you or you try to groom me into some dumb shit. I remember literally having one of your favorite DJs have the nerve to say the only reason I was into my husband didn't want to give him a chance was something to the fact of because I just like thug brothers. Listen, you little you little light skin nothing womanizing pedophile. And that is nobody in particular. I'm just saying people don't come at me disrespecting my family and disrespecting my husband when you know I have the tea on you. I am not afraid of you. Lily season. There are a lot of people who think that, you know, they can pull that little game. Don't let color get you fucked up. Because I have lots of colors in me. That's why I say never judge a person by color. Just alone. And I am what you see. But don't let colors get you fucked up. Because I have all of them in me. My great-great-grandmother's coming through right now. All of my godparents are coming through. Ooh. Y'all don't even know. But you me though. But you you know, you with the trend and you and, 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 and you getting it in and you're doing, you know, you're doing what the AI, what the algorithms are telling you to do. But you know there's two different type of AIs, maybe more. There's the AI that the media and the the, 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 the crazy evil people are promoting, and there's another one that's under the current. There's the program and there's not the program. What have I always said I am? Two things I've said I am. Hashtag not the program. And hashtag the other industry. I'm addressed for a second the Illuminati, which is real. And for a second, let's keep this 100. Before them, there was something else. You understand what I'm saying? They were not the first. Just because... They got a head in business. Whoop, that popped out, so we're going to keep it. I don't know, that like literally just popped out, so we're going to keep it. So I guess that's the card, because I'm only doing one. I don't know what that is, but we're going we're, 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 to we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Oh, man, I forgot to put this in, but we've already done that. You know, the uh, queen of materials. And I, since I already had that out, then that's for a reason, too. So I'm going to rehash that and then go to that. But before them, everyone who has always been super positive, super talented, legitimately talented, you will be met by these mofos who will want to groom you, stop you, make you uh, do weird things for change. They want to push strange and stranger things. They want you, if you're a woman, they want you to be a woman who's into men, women, and children, and everything else. And I mean, there's some people who, you know, will do it. I am not one of those people. And I know they say, you never say never. Bitch, I'm not one of those people. I think I clearly made it known a few weeks ago. Like, if you want to take me out, then we're going to have a Scarface moment. And I realized why I was like that. Because upon meeting my other relatives that my mother's side didn't always introduce me to, I realized in clear view, oh, no wonder I'm so G. I am an original OG around here. Plugged into a legacy of real OGs around here and everywhere around the world and beyond. It's a real legacy. If you believe in the Illuminati and you believe in angels, you don't have to believe in me. That's the whole point. I'm going to show it and prove it to you. But I'm going to tell you this. Mind your business. Stay in your lane. Don't mess with me and I won't mess with you.
people, we're in Lilith season. You all are playing with magic and don't know what magic, real magic can do. You're playing with alchemy and calling out spirits and have no clue that there's some real energies behind this. So while you're doing TikTok and Instagram trends and stuff like that and you're calling on these spirits, these spirits, this veil is going to get real, real thin at the end of the month and these spirits are going to tap your ass because you have played their daughter for the last time. That movie of 13 Ghosts, I remember the original movie. I would, I would advise everybody, you want to see a really good Halloween movie? Watch the 13 Ghosts, both of them. Black and white one and the one that they did, because there's two of them. There's always, all of these things are redos. Understand that everything, there's nothing new. None of this is new. Why am I still shuffling? I guess because I didn't, I don't know, for some reason I don't. Okay, well wait. I started to say I don't like that card, but it did pop out, so I'm gonna I'm go with that. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not playing. Lilith is real. My Kali is real. Hathor, Hathor made herself really real to me. And uh, when I've told you before, I never had a experience. I've had many experiences because I've always been a child who could see spirits. I see everybody's seeing that now. Everybody's saying that now because it's a trend. But okay, whatever. But the fact of the matter is, I always did. I could always see spirits. It's brand and family. I get apparently both sides of the family. Uh, I keep telling you, Charles Chestnut. Aunt Lucy and Aunt Peggy, you need to read your stories. It wasn't fiction. The reason why they said fiction was because he was from Fayetteville or had Fayetteville, just like Langston Hughes. You do know Langston Hughes, literally one of the greatest poets of the Harlem Renaissance. The Harlem Renaissance. You knew people. You knew kids. You knew queer crazy, you know, fruity kids. And I call you that because that's what you are, you, that's what you are catering to. You're catering to a dynamic that is messing up your whole, uh, your, your whole who you are. You are stereotyping yourself and you can't even see that you look foolish doing it. That's not freedom. That's foolish that some of you are doing. Because I have absolutely no problem with who you want to fuck. You just ain't going to fuck me. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You got you to gotta understand. I don't have a problem with you being LGBTQ. I don't really even have a problem with you being transgender if that's what you want to do. I don't. I do, however, have a major problem with transhumanism and the fact that you think people are interchangeable and you can use interchangeable parts and make people robots. Robots. I, robots. There's an artist right now. I don't really, I, I'm, I, on one hand, I don't really want to give him credit because some people will look at it. And it may take it a whole different way. On another hand, the way this industry is, I see what he's trying to say. And I see the people who see me. So, I'm going to do this like I've done with others. I don't necessarily agree with all his philosophy, but uh, Tom McDonald, he's a white boy, he's a white rapper, Tom McDonald, this is like when I talk about iRobot. His, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm tapping. His latest video. His latest video addresses. Uh, and you already know Lecrae. Lecrae. And see, it's funny how your so called gospel stations won't play music like Tom, you know, McDonald or Lecrae or Andy Minio for that part or or Tadashi or, or Trip Lee or, or, or 1K Few. Shout out to Boost Nation. That was, uh, that was a little bit of a clue that my angels were on point with me because they said what do you what do you want what 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 do you want you know what's what's your issue why aren't you in radio and I basically said bullshit what do you feel like how can we make that right it's weird it was a real conversation but bottom line I love boost nation boost 
inspires me more than any of the radio stations around here. It was weird because I've worked at all the radio stations around here. But you are trying to get people with energy. You're trying to get these soldiers uh, to have a little faith in something other than the bullshit and something other than some weak ass Jesus that's just gonna make you these people are getting out shooting and fighting and, and they're 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 in a position where they may have to kill. Let's keep it real. Soldiers do what soldiers do. But you try to put this Jesus narrative and this Christian thing on the and it's it's and it's just so confusing. Because you don't even, you know what? That's a whole other story. I'm not that. That's that's getting too deep. Bottom line is plug in, plug into Boost Nation, plug into Boost 97.3. I like that because you need some more energy. You need to change up your energy because you know we're we're not five black boys and all this other stuff. I mean, no offense to Yolanda Adams and all, but we were the, all 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 of these Christian rappers. I mean, all these Christian artists got some stuff going on that they don't tell you the truth. They like to put on this game and be all golly and Jesus. Remember Kim Burrell? And you know she didn't she talk about you know poor people in their trailer park life? Well, bitch, my my poor trailer park life got me closer to God than you'll ever be. And I said it meant it too. Why? Why you got a problem with me? Remember. I'm just in a trailer park. You look the great Kim Burrell, which I've done some of your money. I mean, not some of your money. I've done some of your commercials and made your spots hot. All of you, you know who I'm talking about. Don't, 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 don't play with me. But yet you have become bogus. You have become bogus in your walk. If you are, if you weren't from the very beginning, you need to watch what you say about others. If you don't walk your own walk, how dare you just? Now, and I know you're saying like, well, look at that, look at you. I walk my walk. I hold myself accountable. I have enough receipts and enough confirmation to say of people who say, when have I ever not been me? I am always 100% authentically me. I don't be fronting, I don't be faking, I don't be lying, I don't be trying to act like I'm better than I am, I don't be putting somebody down just because I ain't got nothing to do. If I've called somebody out, you best believe I could have called them out ten times over. By the time I've had those who really, 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 really know, I can be the nicest, sweetest, most giving person ever. I have given the shirt off my back and damn near went homeless three times for trying to help, help the motherfuckers. I had to learn the hard way. Cut all these people off. Family, friends, or foe. If they don't give back to you, let them go. Like the ark, cut them off. They don't make it on the ship. You got problems with that? That's your trip. You take it up to God, but don't take it up to me. Oh, I need to do this. And I'm feeling so sad. I don't give a fuck. I've been feeling sad and I've been doing this and I've been doing that. Now it's time for you to like, you know, walk your walk. Walk your talk. You all big and bad and shit like that. My focus right now is making sure that these men and women. And I know this is weird that I would say that. But I keep wondering why I keep coming back. Why I keep coming back. Why do I keep coming back here? But I said a long time before that I'm like the welcome wagon to hell. You have the biggest military insulation in the world. You have a lot of stuff going on in the world. Everybody's triggered. Everybody's got anxiety. We already know people are going crazy and killing off everybody for no reason and for reasons. Well, you don't think the soldiers have those same feelings. And no one's really helping them. The government's not helping them. The psychiatrists and psychologists, it's just not enough to get therapy. Go get therapy. What kind of fucking therapy? The therapists are fucked up. Many of the therapists are drunks or drug addicts themselves and their textbook case. The textbook case mean they have their doctors and their masters and all that, but unless they have really been in the military and been on those front lines and seen what they've seen and done what they've done, they cannot tell these soldiers, men or women, anything, not even their kids because they don't have a clue. They're reading from a textbook. They don't know you, but I do. And that's why they'll listen to someone like me. Why would they listen to you when all you're going to do is, is give them a pill? Let's keep it real. That's what the military will do. They just give them a pill, full of pills. But yet, you know, 
they'll talk about how drugs is wrong and this and that and da 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 this is a nation that's built off of drugs this is a nation that's built off of alcohol this is a nation that's built off it wasn't tobacco it was the nicotine that was killing off everybody once the once the government gets in this shit it all turned it it all gets tricky that's why that's why that's why we need a whole new voting system that's why i say you know what i'm not even having any conversations trump is not coming up in my conversation that that should not even be a conversation but guiding isn't either i said guiding for a reason because it's gates and biden it's the same it's 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 it's, it's two fucking narcissists you know on, on an agenda so we're not doing trump and we're not doing guiding either we are not doing hillary and no i don't want to do kamala just because somebody's black don't mean i told you one time before just because somebody's in your party don't make them on your team and just because somebody where the set that's the same color you are don't make them family or friend fuck that i'm addressing your spirit i'm addressing your actions actions i judge you by your actions now you can't judge god does if you don't judge people by their actions what should we judge them by They'll turn around and say, now you don't judge people. All of you do. We all judge people to some degree. We all. How dare you be stupid enough to pull that bullshit line to me of all people. But I know you tried it. You had to try it because that's what you do. And then, like I said, you got the oogity boogity people who uh, you guys want to be famous so bad and you have no clue what they will do to you. Do you know that Every famous person that ever came out of North Carolina had a struggle like no other and got no support or very little from North Carolina. Every true famous person, true talent, every true talented person in Fayetteville has never gotten support from Fayettevillians. And you won't. You have and it's not many, because the problem is, they think it's plenty. They think by joining these groups or these fake-ass motherfuckers that, hey, we're doing it, we're doing it. We ain't doing shit. That's why Fort Bragg is getting ready to cut you off and ice you out. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Y'all don't even see it. I got my gold card, so what the fuck do I care? But I do care because the money crazy, the money thing, this, that, the money thing's getting ready to get crazy. So that's why I got to be about my money. It's Lily season. I got to be about my money. I don't care what you're doing. I'm not coming out to visit you i'm not coming out to see you i'm not coming out to work or do anything for you if you don't have a bag for me and you're gonna pay my bag in advance i have given way too many chances and way too much help i have been told do not give anything else period you got a problem with it take it to god you need a commercial you need to cut pay my money you need a vet you need hosting pay my money you need something you need done professional you need artist consultation you need consult you need real therapeutic consultation because i'm telling you i'm a better therapist than most of these therapists because i am a real life soul therapist it's a legacy it's an energy it's an empathy it's an experience it's teaching from experience I'm talking real experience. So when people talk about spirits or aliens or, 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 or entities or whatever, I have shown you, if you go back on my videos, I have shown you the interaction with me and nature, me and spirit. I've shown it to you. I don't know what more you, you need a Hollywood movie. Then, then watch the motherfucking movie. Don't watch me. Why are you watching me? Just to copy. And then when that shit goes wrong. That's what I'm saying. I'm giving you the warning now. Because some of y'all going to try this this month. And you going to get. Yeah. You know what? Do you. Go ahead. Do you. Do your magic spells. Go ahead. Do it. But where are you going to go when all this is over? YouTube is already snatching people off. A lot of people thought that they were going to make their money off of YouTube. And it's like, nope. You got set up. 
Just like with the PPP loan, a lot of people thought the PPP loan, just like with every other thing in grants, you don't have, the real artists have to struggle and try to be right by it, but it's the cons who take advantage of it and fuck it up for everybody. And you did. And you wonder why that shit is going to come, it's, it's coming back to you. What part of karma didn't you not understand? Oh, I get, you know, you figure you'd be long gone, got your money, ran, dead or whatever. No, it's now. The world is changing now. Everything is changing now. Karma is now. Karma is almost instant. So when you do something to somebody, that shit comes back on you quick. So no, when you do something against me, how's it working for you? Anyway, page of inspiration. Let's let's let's, let's see what that is. See, I wasn't even going to do this live, but it's like, okay, I guess I am. Page of inspiration. Suit of inspiration. Let's see, page of... Because there are people that are just tripping. And, and like I said, I mean, you know, this this whole thing, it, it, it seemed like a viable entity for people to move, especially real broadcasters and real uh, readers, real... I don't know the word to call it. People who really had something to say, who really wanted to help to come on and, and be given a platform to just do it and take it upon yourself. But now with everything else, you done got the cons coming in. You got, you know, you got the tricksters coming in and you got the hoes coming in. And the ho all the hoes are like, you know, they went from like if if you can't be a Cardi B or, or, or Megan the Stallion, now you're a tarot reader. Now you are a divine feminine. Now you are a, this is this goddess or is this oracle or is that oracle. Everybody's a motherfucking oracle. That part is that part, you trifling, 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 trick as mark as hoes. Because you have no idea of the legacy, none, and it shows. It shows. The people you get, you keep that, but I hope you know. That by you leading these people down a bad path and you just doing it for the dough, I'm still going to have the last laugh because the karma that's going to come back on you when they snatch all that shit from you and many of you going to jail. But you did it to yourself. So why haul about it? You took it upon. That's the risk. That's the risk. You played a bad trick and you got tricked. Pick a trick, get a trick. Choose a hoe, get a hoe told you you can't trust you can't trust a hoe with the dough you can't trust a hoe or an addict with the dough i have room for neither in my life or somebody who does not know how to get their fucking ass if i gotta work everybody's gonna work period i'm not taking care of no man i'm not taking care of no woman i'm not taking care of anybody and i'm not bringing anybody on my ship that has not shown me with their actions, not their words, because words are cheap. You can't take you can't take words to the bank. You can't take words and pay due progress with that. You can't take words to the landlord. Although when I had a good landlord, you know, who my landlord, had, had, my old landlord, had helped me more than many people who look like me, and my old landlord looked like this. So don't you ever, some of you, ever come up to me ever again talking about how black people got to stick together and black people got to do this and black people got to do that especially around here because I might punch the blackness out of you and I know I shouldn't say that mother I know I shouldn't say that but I am my daddy's girl and let's keep it real I done found some of my relatives on my mommy's side y'all don't understand about Cave Hill and Deep Creek Road and see don't go with me down that road you gonna get lost and find out oh shit I'll put it this way you remember when I started taking gun lessons, when I showed you that video too? Because that's the thing, that's the difference between me and the rest of them. I show you what I do. So I just don't be doing like little clicks for Instagram and YouTube and shit. I show you my shit because I want you to know when you come to me, I ain't no ho. And I will legitimately fuck you up. So let's not even have that battle. 
just go somewhere else. I'm not trying to steal your shit, but I am not going to let you steal mine. I don't give you white, black, blue, green, or anything in between. I am from a legacy. I am a real bona fide warrior queen. I will fuck you up. And that's not out of fear. That's out of legacy on my daddy's side and on my mother's side. They are relatives that I see why I'm so G. And I'm not thinking like some of you. And they still see me and some of my ancestors and they walk with me. I'm good. I just need to focus on doing what I need to do and being who I need to be. But to my so-called cousins and relatives, if you really, really know, you better watch how you step to me, huh? And you know who you are. I'm gonna let it go at that. I'm gonna let it go at that. Oh my God. What have I, the, the, oh, wow, this has been a wonderful, weird week. Um, suit of inspirations, what did I say, this is, this is, wow, this is a page, I'm like, I'm, this card is like, by the way, the Muse Tarot, because I am, uh, this card was given to me by, uh, a friend. Thank you. I want to say the groom team. Don't act like I don't know I do. But I get it. I mean. I don't get. A, well. This was given me because it fit. This was a gift. Because I am. The muse of someone. Whose eyes are everywhere. You know. You remember when we had the little light. With the helicopters everywhere. And the planes and all that. It's, it's still. I have protection. Which is good because I need protection. <laughs> Apparently for myself. Uh, <laughs> I'm Lilith, bitch. But uh, Lilith don't play. Lilith ain't no trick. And on the other side of that, Mary Magdalena was not a hoe. Do not disrespect the black Sicilian. She will fuck you up. Somebody asked me why, you know, what's what's the deal with, with with knives? It's just it's a it's a person. I don't know. It's it's personal. That's what somebody told me one time before. Knives, are personal. Yeah. So, don't disrespect the black Sicilian. Don't do that. I said what I said. If you're smart, you'll know that. If you're not, then you know, carry on. Do you? But when that shit hits the fan, don't come on me. Call on your God and see if He will come through. And good luck with that. Page of Inspiration. It's a beautiful card, isn't it? Everything about this card is beautiful. But sometimes beauty can be deceptive. But this is a beautiful card. I'm going to leave it there for a second. Because can you see the, the, the intricacy of this card? I don't know. This is, but this is a beautiful card. This is a beautiful card. Page of Inspiration. Keywords, a million sparks of ideas, all the enthusiasm at the beginning, brainstorming and planting seeds for new projects and futures, successful starts, the vibrancy of youth, a zest for life, ideation, is this a word? I guess it is, I-D-E-A-T-I-O-N, Ide ideation and creativity, exciting possibilities. Good things I'm get things I'm automatically hooked on phonics, so I know how to read. Some people are not. The prompt: rain clouds of creativity. Because <laughs> it's getting rain. It's, it's the irony is because it's getting ready to rain. It is getting ready to rain. But it's beautiful though. It's still beautiful and peaceful out here. I'm in my peace. I'm in my happy zone. People wonder why I don't come out to where they're at. Why should I come out to places where I have gone before and got nothing of it? I've done my poetry. I've done my thing. I've done this. I've done that. But I am very uninspired to go and do things I've done around the same people. 
and do the same thing again. I'm not inspired to do it. The whole part of change is change. Change means you don't do the same thing. We've had two years to try to figure out or get close to figuring out this thing that our country is fucking us. All of us. And that we have to be the change. And we can't just do business as usual. We have to demand change. You can't just vote as usual. Because you're still voting on parties and party lines. You're still doing the old voting tricks, but yet you holler change. Yet you hire people that will never change. I mean, case in point. I don't even know how to say it, but why would you hire somebody that's been fired by somebody else? Uh, and I'm not talking about you. I mean, why would you hire, it, like, it, 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 in government? Why would you hire somebody who was just recently fired for not doing their job? I don't know what that's about. But this area, Fayetteville, Spring Lake 2-6, they, 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 they will hire people that they know right off the bat can't do the job or will fuck it up. And they will complain when it gets fucked up. And will complain when money gets stolen and money gets taken. The people who need to get the money don't get it. The people who need to get the justice don't get it. The people who need to be heard aren't being heard. The artists who need to be supported aren't being supported. And you have all these muggles talking about, we're doing the greatest thing. And we're doing this. And we're making this. And we're doing this change. In between time, Fort Bragg and Pope Elvis space is getting ready to take everything and everybody. And again, I'm here for it because I warned you about it and I told you about it. These men and women have been doing things and trying to keep you safe with all the drama that a base will have and military people will have. They have been really out there on the front lines. Just not in the street, you know, fighting and smoking and doping and fucking up everybody. They have been out there truly, truly, really, 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 really trying to do the fighting for freedom thing. And y'all want to complain that, you know, well, they're the ones that come in and do the crime. And they're the ones that, you know, because they're so trans and they don't stay, stay here and they're not invested. You are not invested in this area. You do not invest in your people. You are not invested in this area. They come here and they give you their money and you give them nothing. You give them nothing. You give them these clubs that are full of thugs and hoes. You give them shoot up set outs. Wait a minute. Shoot set up. Shoot up. Shoot out set ups. That's all. You give them shoot up set outs. Get it right girl. Shoot out set ups. You give them shoot out set ups. Like they deal with that every day. So they're going to come to party at a place where it's a, a shoot out set up. What the fuck kind of shit y'all on? And you think it's okay with it. We're bad. That's it. We're too sick. You know what? Y'all ain't shit. Ain't shit. There are really, really, really people who have stood by you and tried to help you out and tried to uplift you and bring about the arts. The arts council ain't shit. God, I'm, 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 I'm calling you all out because you know who you are. You know what you do. And you don't support the artists. You support the same people who are in your pocket and you know that it's true, but you want to be mad at me. I don't care that you talk some kind of way about me or that you try to you know cut me out of your shit I don't want to be in your shit you can't sit with us I don't want to sit with you but here's the funny thing if I wanted to I could and we all know that now here's the even funnier thing if I wanted to I really wouldn't be supported by many blacks but you want to be the favorite nigga you know or, or, or you want to be the HNIC around all the white people. And the white people actually respect me because they know, number one, they're going to get quality. Number two, they're going to get the truth. Number three, I'm not going to show up high to a gig and I'm going to show up on time. <laughs> Even the animals know it. Am I lying? How many conversations have I had with some of you about that very thing? Professionalism. But you want to talk about black unity. How about unite with yourself? How about you figure out that demon in yourself and you do something about that before you try to address a demon in me? Because if, we, if we're demon addressing, my demon's bigger than yours. And it's my season. Um, a cloud of ideas blooms overhead, popping with the excitement. <laughs> popping with the excitement of what could be it's in the italics too of what could italics mean well, I should explain it some of you in school your master your master degree you don't know what italics is anyway bottom line 
I know I'm being catty today, but whatever, I can. Meow. Uh, a, a cloud of ideas blooms overhead, popping with the excitement of what could be. This page of inspiration really can't help herself. She always has a million and one thoughts flowing in success, succession, and all of them carry sparks of infinite possibility. She laughs at the thought of putting each one of them into action. She will be the first to tell you that she will gift you an inspiration, a thought, a reason, a bright rain at the end of a drought. This man knows me. That's scary, but it is not uh, her. But it's not her zone of genius to make that idea a reality. Ooh, I love what this. We are gonna read that again because somebody needs to. Somebody needs to hear this. Remember, you gave this to me, so somebody needs to hear this. Uh, I'm gonna start with this. She laughs at the thought. I uh, thank you. She laughs at the thought of putting each one of them into into action. She will be the first to tell you that she will gift you an inspiration, a thought, a reason, a bright rain at the end of a drought. But it is not her zone of genius to make that idea a reality. That is your job. That is your job. That is your job, my love. I told you there are only three energies here. Slave, slave master, or troublemaker. Slave, slave master, or troublemaker. I am not and will ever be a slave. I will fuck you up and cut off your head, your dick, and everything else in between before we get to that. Said it, minute, don't regret it. What the fuck you think Harriet Tubman and Nat Turner would do? What do you think Jesus would do? What do you think God would do? What do you think Lilith would do? What do you think Mak Ali would do? What do you think Segment would do? What do you think Hathor would do? What do you think Isis would do? The real one, not the bullshit one. What do you think my aunt would do? And some of you have the nerve to call yourself Moors. What type of Moor are you? When you have tried to make my aunt and Isis into whores. Your women, you do not respect. You feel like you can sleep with all of them, bet? And you're a man because God gave you that right. Because woman came from your rib. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And it will be on fire. And you will be the one to retire and aspire behind those lies that you keep telling. How dare you try to sell that pack of lies. But you want to say you're wise. You're more. But you disrespect the energy and the legacy of Isis and Ma'at. Uh, you two are on the clock for karma. That is your job, my love. Her son of genius is not to make your idea a reality. That is your job, my love. Her rainbow hair sways in the wind. It's the promise. Not the blue and the white, the all time. For the record, not even Hooters hires people with all the different colors of hair. And again, the rainbow was a promise, not an agenda. Agenda people and Illuminati people have taken this shit way to the left and y'all have jumped right off the boat into the sea with the sharks with it. The cracking is coming and you looking at me like saying, why you jumped in there? I told you that was bull. Ooh, did you? Is that doing that? That's weird how that does that. Look. Wax on? Wax off. Wax on? That is tripping me out. Wax on. I know, and I am not high. Wax on? I, I'm not. I'm naturally high. Hashtag naturally dope. That's the funny thing. I can get this high in this elevator without the smoke. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't mind smoking because it's been one hell of a 48 hours. But I'm just saying, so don't tell me that you need DMT and shrooms to get to where I'm already at. It seems like you need to be learning from me, but I am very specific about my class and my energy. I don't, I don't mess. I know, I know. I do not, I do not mess with old news. I do not mess with old shit. I flush it. Because change is change. And if they don't change, I change. Anyway, 
as this continues on, let's get back to that part of her rainbow hair. I guess one of the, this hair is getting ready to be black by the end of the month, by the way. I'm dying the gray away. Uh, so don't get used to the gray. But the wisdom's always going to be there. Always, always will be, always was. Her rainbow hair sways in the wind and another idea pops effortlessly, as it always does. This time for someone else. <laughs> and she dazzles a symphony of solutions, answers, and potentials. She, she shares them freely. And now, not so freely this time, Lilith don't play that. And now I share them freely with me. You know, you won't, mm -mm, mm -mm. you you gonna you gonna have to earn this. I don't give nothing for free anymore. You are gonna have to earn the right with your actions, not your words. Actions matter. Money matters. Lilith and Capricorn, eleventh house. Bitch, I'm about my bank. Don't address me if you don't have bank. And now it's your turn to root into your belief, hope, and faith, and take action to make them real. You got to do this for yourself. You got to do it for yourself. Don't keep saying, look at God. Look at you. You not doing something. Something ain't working out. Then it's you. Make a change. Do something different. You waiting on God to get you off a of dope. You waiting on God to fix your hoe of a husband or your hoe of a wife or your hoe of a friend or whatever. You looking for God to get you out of a situation. All you going to sit there is cry and read the Bible and shit like that and you don't even move. It's like you going to look for these, sa these soldiers to continue to save you and bail your fucked up city out of debt and you offer them nothing. What type of math is that? Okay. The mantra. Inside my mind, this cosmic spark and all the lines of light, a code that dives deep in the dark with radiant shards of sight. Inside my mind, this cosmic spark and all the lines of light, a code that dives deep in the dark with radiant shards of of sight. I get it. Something's coming. Something big is coming. And y'all keep being the same thing and doing the same thing and do that. But when it comes, don't say I didn't warn you. When it comes, don't say you weren't told. When it comes, don't be mad, don't be sad, don't be scared because you had a chance to change and you chose not. You gave that power to someone else who did not give a shit about you. That's not their fault. That's your fault. You gave your power away. Don't blame it on the, as I say, don't blame it on the player, blame it on the game. Well, you chose it. Just like our people choose to deal with what they got to do to be in the industry. They want that fame that bad. I'm sorry. I have never wanted fame. I just like doing what I do. I am a music chick. I love music. I do commercials. I'm damn good at it. I am a professional. This is not a hobby. I make it look like a hobby, but I am actually professionally good at doing this. I was a natural talent as a child. And I grew better at my talent and trained at my talent. So, therefore, why not? Why would I not be an expert at my talent? But you got everybody now thinking that they're experts. Yet, you want me, I know, to give my expertise to build you up. And you don't even want to give anything back. You must think I'm fucking crazy. And I was for a minute. Because we are taught. You gotta give. You gotta give. You gotta give. God says you gotta give and it's gonna come back. They lied to you. I know. They lied to you. You get well. You don't get it now. That's on you. I said what I had to say. This you, you, is this no need to talk about it. That's why it's no need to get into these debates or arguments or anything like that. I have nothing to say to these people. This is the close you're gonna get to seeing me. Anything else you're gonna have to pack? Because it's purely business. Purely business. I feed myself, you know, and, and, and I do for myself. Purely business. What is the date? It's Sunday, so 
Oh my god. No. That's too uh Is today the seventeenth? Is today the seventeenth or the sixteenth? What is today? The Sunday the seventeenth. Normally is this so it's the sixteenth. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday. I'm looking at uh, because it's Sunday. No. Well, I'm going to read this. I don't know if it's the 17th or the 16th. The days are, but the 17th would be my husband's birthday. And I'm a Libra moon. And the animals are saying, this is what I need to read. Okay, okay, okay. And there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, all right, I got it. Okay, so seasonal focus. The harvest is stored, received, stored and received. Morning focus, the angel of earth. And it's funny how on YouTube you got to, and this, this person's an earth angel, and this person, and I mean, you know, that's, that's good that some people see me, but the funny thing about it, and, I, and, I, and don't get me wrong, there are some people, there's a few on YouTube that uh, I get and I feel, but the majority of them are not real. And they're just kind. And if you can't see it, you can tell by the way they look. I keep telling you, there is, a, you know, forget the cursing part. Because, I mean, listen, I'm a military brat. If we, we can either curse you out or, or knock you out. Make a choice. You're going to get one or the other. And sometimes both. <laughs> That's just it. You shaking curse. Bitch, you shouldn't be stupid. Bitch, you shouldn't try me. Bitch, you shouldn't get up in my face and think you can play me. Bitch, you should have never stole money from me. Bitch, you shouldn't have got up in my face and stole my idea right in front of my face. Bitch, you should not have played me. Bitch, you should not have had me do something for you and and, and, and have me looking homeless because you don't even want to pay me. Bitch, don't try me. It's better that I curse than bring out the other side of my family and me. That shit's in my jeans. I didn't finish about when I went to gun class and the people who were teaching me at Guns Plus were just like, you sure this is the first time you've ever done that? Because it was the very first time. I remember when um, my husband was murdered and um, the tech, oh my God, he was so wonderful, Terrence. And he was like, you and other people were like, you, you need to go to the range because this you, you need to go and feel like you can defend yourself or something. Because, but I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't want to touch a gun, be around guns. No, I mean, I was just fucked up. For, I'm still. You never get over it. You never get over it. It gets better, but you never get over it. Never, never, never. So for someone to tell me to get over it, first and foremost, you better run when you say that, because I might punch you out on the spot. I hope it happens to you. See how well you get over it. But I'm glad I did because it's proven to me that this is a time I am very much uh, I, I very much feel that people need to like have their own protection I mean now now I have like now I have like security of some sort but it was just weird but you know but still I don't depend on anything I'm a very independent chick so in case security ain't there I'm there so they could not understand how this for my very first time on the range I was getting wow where are they going oh you're all going the other way okay nature is off the chain today they could not understand how I was getting headshots and I was getting headshots and body shots I mean I mean I was in there I was in the, I was I was I was hitting kill switches you know I was I was hitting killing shots and a couple of dick shots <laughs> I did that's what they said like you were getting ass shots and body shots and a couple of dick shots and they were like looking at me and laughing like you never did this before no and I'm left handed with how I shoot the irony right like my daddy so 
That being said, I have a legacy of, uh, uh, I'm, I'm warrior queen for real. I mean, I'm warrior queen, hardcore OG gangster for real. And this ain't no joke. I'm not just some buppy, bougie, uppity military brat. I will fuck you up. <laughs> and I don't want to fight. I'm not a fighting person. So I'm not going to be in a, I'm not one of those, like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to like try to fight you. I'm going to meet you. In a, no, if it gets to that point, I'm just going to have to kill you. I don't, I'm not going out like no fighting and stuff like that. That is not me. I don't want to ever have to go to that level. I only fight to that if that's to defend my life. And that's what I mean. I am defending my life. So when I feel like I'm put in a position where I have to defend my life, one of us is going. And it ain't going to be me. So that being said, you know, soldier legacy. Y'all better know what time it is because that's what it's going to be. Revolution is here evolution is here you can either join it or do the math anyway morning focus the angel of earth the real one is talking to you will you hear probably not but the remnant will so i'm getting the message out i'm good the deepening the deepening gather fallen leaves and take them into your meditation let their surrender teach you. I'm going to play with some leaves when I get done with you. Meditation. Let me use the wisdom of my senses to understand the earth. In this, I hope I'm not too loud. You see? Still there? Okay. Because there was a, a, a soldier that was in a hammock and I didn't really didn't want to, like, you know, mess up his vibe. Um. Uh, let me use the wisdom of my senses to understand the earth. In this season of preparation, for as the earth prepares its life forms, so too shall I prepare. The nature kingdom is my teacher, and I have much to learn. I learn of letting go my grip on yesterday and free myself for the wonder of tomorrow's settled joy. I'm going to read that again because my mind was all over the place when I read it. But I got it. Let me use the wisdom of my senses to understand the earth in this season of preparation. So, for the earth prepares its life forms. The earth prepares its life forms. Woman did not come from man's rib. Don't get that shit twisted. Man did not create woman. Don't get that shit twisted. There's an essence, there's an energy. It took a feminine energy and a, and, and, and a masculine energy to bond, to make that seed. Don't get the chemistry, don't get the alchemy twisted. Because that's where you got in that bullshit where two men can have a baby and two women have a baby. And, and, and then you get into, that is your... You know, that is maybe what you want, but that is not, that's not what it is originally. Don't take out the alchemy or the chemistry because that's facts and going to always be that. And dress it how you will. Dress it up how you will. Make it work how you will. But to take away that basic component, that basic dynamic, that means that you'll have everybody creating, in, you know, in test tubes. And that is, okay, do, do you. Meanwhile, the earth's going to kick that shit out because it's not nature. Nature is always going to be nature regardless of what man or woman thinks. Nature is always going to be nature. I told you before, don't shit grow in sand. Only on the fertile earth, in the earth, the fertile earth. Don't shit grow in the sun. Where is heaven? Where are you going? When every time you die, even if you get cremated, you're thrown, you're, you're, you're tossed either into the sea or buried in the ground, you go back to where you came from. Mother Earth. Y'all don't get it. In 2022, how do you not get the basic? So, okay. 
let me use the wisdom of my senses to understand the earth, not man, in this season of preparation. For as the earth prepares its life forms, so too shall I prepare. The nature kingdom is my teacher, not man. Not the Illuminati. I am not the Illuminati. Just because you see the eye, I know how to use my third eye. Bitch, don't try me like that. Don't play me like that. Do not even dishonor me like that. I am not the Illuminati, but I am highly illumined. And I'm telling you, do what you do. I won't fuck with you if you don't fuck with me. But if you fuck with me, you're fucking with a deeper legacy. Always know something came before you. And it's about to show itself. That's why I smile. The nature kingdom is my teacher. And I have much to learn. I learn of letting go my grip on yesterday. And free myself for the wonder of tomorrow's subtle joy. I let go of the lie. I let go of people's attitudes about me. I let go of wanting people's approval. I let go. This is so cool. I'm watching this right now. It's so cool. Oh man, it's like a, it's like my own audience. The nature audience is come. The nature audience. This is so cool. I let go of everything that bullshit mankind just keeps wanting to promote when I know that it's a joke. So I'm out here on my thing, on my platform, on my pulpit, showing you the hope of a new nation, of a new world, of the new people who are the descendants of the old people. We don't play by your rules. We do not respect your God. We do not respect your religion. We do not respect... Well, we, okay, I take that back. We respect it. Because we technically we respect all religions, but we do not respect those of you who are so power hungry that you feel like you have a lock on the religion. Like all things have to be with you. Like if it's not Jesus, it ain't nothing. Well, then that makes you nothing because Jesus won't even Jesus. So don't you look smart. You up here sucking on that preacher and shit like that and filling up his pocket and mother nature is showing you every day when you get up on when you get up in the morning look at god no look at you you know that air you breathe that's nature you know that ground that you walk on that's nature you know that water that you drink that comes from nature you know that food that you eat that's grown that's nature these trees that's nature this is nature and you are allowing this to disappear behind some, I know, I know, nature is, nature is preparing to go to war. They're prepping. Because nature will always defend itself. Nature doesn't need mankind. Man needs nature. Y'all got shit twisted. Y'all got shit twisted. I do not need the industry. The industry needs me. With or without the industry, I'm going to be who I be. The industry didn't give me talent. Foxy 99 didn't give me talent. Ooh, there we go. Go, babies, go. And then there were two left. Well, it was three left. Go, baby, go. I told you. Okay, I really, okay. My, my, my time to roll out, too. That's my cue, too. Okay. I'm just saying. I didn't, Foxy 99 didn't make me. I made Foxy 99. Let's get that real. And that's what a lot of people, you know, that's why a lot of people would get rid of their best announcers. I'm not, I'm more than just a jock. Any, 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 you know, one thing I learned from Jerry Farmer, by the way, and no disrespect to DJs, because I consider myself a DJ too, but not a DJ DJ. I do what I do. But I mean, there are really DJs that like DJ DJ. I do what I do, but uh, and and I know how to mix music, and I'm and I'm I'm swift on that beat. I mean, I'm a I am a cut master when it comes to putting something together. Can't nobody touch me when it comes to commercials or mixing beats and stuff like that. That way, 
But on those turntables, I bow down to those who can really do it. But this is the difference between me and your average DJ. I'm an announcer. I can do commercials for all formats, not just hood commercials. All commercials. There is nothing so insulting as to have someone say that I'm not black enough on a black spot. Like, are we all supposed to be stupid? See, that's what the industry will have you acting and talking some kind of way and then you have crazy white people who thinking that's how we are and that's not how we are and so when you have these crazy white people come up to me and expect me to be less than what I am expect me to come off on some slave terminology or some slave or like I'm supposed to lower my head down because I'm afraid of you again I'm a military brat both of my parents are in the military my mother was a nurse in the top of her class my dad you know was fifth cab in the top of his class we do not bow we will fuck you up you bow to us or will you be on an even keel you don't have to bow you know but I won't don't get it and that's what's sad is when you have to say that to the people who look like you because the ones who look like me pretty much get it my biggest problem around here has not been the ones the irony is my biggest problem around here has not been the ones that didn't look like me it's the ones who did oh but I'm supposed to keep that to myself bullshit And some of you want to go, well, you don't know who you are. Or now I'm saying, well, I got white in my family. And I got Indian. Bitch, I got all of that in my family. Big fucking whoop de doo They see what they see. But I'm just saying, address me as I am and my energy and my intelligence. And be glad that I curse. Because if I didn't curse, then I, the worst could come out of me. Because I know my legacy and I feel the energy of what my mom and my dad had to go through. And to see people still act the way they do and you disrespect me and my legacy and expect me to be lower than you just because you got yourself on some fake ass pole bitch I ain't no hoe bitch ain't color specific and ain't gender specific and neither is the word nigga because the person who made the word nigga is the nigga be careful how you step to me today I will bring the spirit of learning from everything to my entire walk my entire walk my husband my husband my husband made it where I it's a struggle it is a struggle it's still a struggle everybody's struggling I don't think I'm not struggling but I still have some type of leverage and I'm gonna use that leverage to continue to plant my meager seeds in the best field possible for the best harvest I have learned in 66 years where not to plant my energy or my seeds don't plant your energy or your seeds in a hoe don't plant your energy and your seeds just for the dough plant your energy and seeds into something that actually makes you feel good and that you work because it's worth it and that's why I'm walking my walk that's what I bring today my walk I need no confirmation I need no affirmation other than me and nature and whoever gets it who's supposed to get it The evening focus. This is so beautiful. By the way, again, for some of you newbies, all these trendy people, I'm a goddess, I'm this, I'm that, I'm divine. I do terrible. Fuck all you fucking fakes, okay? This is the Essene Book of Days. The Essene Book of Days, 1999. I got this years ago when I was in Atlanta at the Dragon, at the Phoenix and the Dragon, my favorite store. Uh, they used to call it my witchy store, whatever. He would go with there with me too. But uh, I love the things in the dragon. I know some of you didn't visit that. Like, not, not, now all this stuff is like, I've been doing this. No, you won't. But that's okay. But it's, it's okay. Now you know a little bit of what I do. But at the same time, no. And this goes to all. What have you done to be a friend to me in real life? 
How have you, if I have ever given you anything, what have you given me in real life? Other than the drama. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not even asking for it today. That's a funny thing. But the funny thing is the very people who are jealous of you are the main ones who watch you. I don't know why my stomach's ground. I had coffee and I ate. Anyway, the blessing from the evening focus, the angel of creative work. The blessing is fulfillment and completeness are gifts I give to me. They come from focus, labor, and perfection as my guide. How well I see the power that my own acts have on me. And I create my world of joy or a world of misery. Perfection is my natural state. How easily I forget. I'm going to read that again and I'm going to check. Poets to rest. <laughs> it, 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 it comes with awakening. Uh, the blessing, fulfillment and completeness are gifts I give to me. They come from focused labor and perfection as my guide. How well I see the power that my own acts have on me. And I create my world of joy or world of misery. Perfection is my natural state. How easily I forget. Somebody reminds me of that daily. And I'm going to leave it at that. Because, uh, because, 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 I can't tell if we're the eyes or the scarecrow. So, but anyway, that's a whole other story. But anyway, that's it for today. Flavor and favor. I don't just, uh, talk about it. I rep it. Because that's what I am. A real rep. And um, live your best life. Be beautifully and wonderfully you. The future babies depend on it. Real women are still searching for real men. Real queens are still searching for real queens. Real, queen, real queens are still searching for real kings. And real kings are still searching for real queens. And real soldiers are still searching for real ride or dies. Everybody just wants somebody to understand and converse with. Any bitch can work a pole. Any bitch. But it takes a special woman to seriously rock a mind and rock a mic brilliantly and I do and I am that bitch I am ValJones.com Self School Cafe you know where to find the show and uh, until next time have a great week that's your card for the week for me sun's coming out Ironically, this evening, sun coming out. Give you another look at the water. We're quiet. I like it. No loud people talking. No. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that right now. Ain't nobody got time for no chat rooms, no discourse rooms. No, you know, nobody. And by the way, Sorry, but not sorry, chick. But your acting skills are horrible. And that's all I'm going to say. If you watched Saturday Night Live last night, you know what I'm talking about. Like, some people. But that's, that's the lane that they have made. They have made, they have dumbed down. I mean, I mean, you know, you do what you do. But they have really dumbed down the skill sets on everyone. 
in clear view. And now that's what you have to strive to. We've had Langston Hughes, Nina Simone, Billy Holiday, John Coltrane. Oh my gosh, so many real beautiful, fascinating, creative talents. But you want us all to be thugs and hoes? Your highest level, no offense, is JC and Diddy and Beyonce, no offense. But that's your epitome. You can't see beyond that. That there's a much bigger, better, legitimate legacy. If I have to show my entire ass, my entire badge to everybody just to be on the top of the chain, you can fucking keep that game. And if you try to take it, I'm going to make you famous. One of us, not both of us, is going to be front page news. And that's coming from the real. Woo! Don't play with Lily. Don't play with Lily. Cause daddy's little girl is the truth. I know you know my mama's name is Ruth. And Bob Jones is coming for that truth. You thought you were going to use me, but now, ooh. The creator is going to tap that ass like whoop. And I'm going to have the last laugh like whoop. And I'm just freestyling my ass off and just doing me like whoop. Military brat, see? We different. That's it. That's all. Legitimately me. 100% authentically me. And people hate. Then copy it and do better. That part, though, <laughs> eh, fucking possible. Till next time, peace out. Flavor and favor. Get the t-shirts. No, I'm not giving them out for free. And don't forget, buy my book. It explains everything, everything. My book at bandcamp.com. Val Jones, the audio book. The audio book about the book I was going to write about the end of the world. Again, my show, Soul School Cafe, comes on this week uh, on my affiliates. Hopefully, they will play it, and it gives you some excerpts of my book. You want the whole thing? You got to go to Bandcamp to get it. It's only $22, and if you complain about $22 when you spend $100 on a bottle of nothing, then fucking miss me. I have seen people spend money on some BS. I've seen them spend money and just cash apping. These, these, these muggles on YouTube who are offering them nothing but when someone gives you real pearls, they pay for crack and you won't pay for the pearls, then you miss it. You miss the water. May the fire burn all that bullshit out of you because you did not ask. You, did. you know what? And I'm going to say this because when I came to you, I was that boat. When I came to you, I was that boat. Uh, let's go back to the movie The Pursuit. This is going to be real quick minute and out. The movie Pursuit of Happiness. That that part where you know where, 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 where Jaden, whatever, whatever the name of the kid was in that movie, was given the, the story about the uh, about the man who was drowning or something like that, and he was like waiting on the Lord, and 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 you know, and, and a boat came by, and 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 the man said, "I'm just waiting on the Lord," and you know, and then another boat came by, and the man said, "I was waiting on the Lord," and then another boat I think came by, and the man said, "I was waiting," and the, and the man drowned, and so when he went to heaven, and he was like, you know, what? what happened and you know the Lord said I sent you three boats I was that boat you missed it so now guess what you drown in your own bullshit and the lies that you told yourself when I showed you the truth
but what did you show? Have a great week. <laughs> that was the love. That was the final call. That was your chance. That's up to you. Change or get what you get. Peace out.